I, that's your bike, Glenn. Yes. I know it is. <laughs> that's your bike. Hey, good morning. I'm currently on my way. I'm on my way to Tour Custom Cycles. I'm gonna be installing something extremely, extremely cool on my Lowrider ST. It's not gonna be functional. Well, maybe it will be functional when you ride at night, but it's mainly for looks. Also functional. Let me grab and take my bike out. This is, this is what I'm gonna be installing. The Custom Dynamics uh, light bar in yellow should be looking really badass. Actually, I turned my badass looking uh, Lowrider ST to even more badass looking Lowrider ST. But before I do that, I'm gonna stop on the way. Glenn is getting a new bike, so we're gonna go uh, be in the delivery of his bike and see his cool and badass bike as well. Plains of Canard. It's so is it this bike? Do I got here? Mr. Whole Chef in the building. Is it this his bike? Is that the one he's getting? That's his bike. I bet you that's his bike. It is a BMW, so I'm gonna show you what he's getting here in a little bit. This is the bike he's getting for sure. That's the one. That's the one. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a scooter. Is it electric? Crazy. Oh yeah, is it electric? Yeah. I'm Not pretty sure. It cool is. Electric. It is really good looking, but electric. Right now. I'm not I, that's your bike, Glenn. Yes. I know it is. <laughs> that's your bike. This is it. My favorite motorcycle of all time. Her, her good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. I was saying it's the 360 over there, the GS 360. 310. 310. 310. <laughs> Look at this one. This is the K1600B for baggers. Look at the TFT the screen on the side. They have these funny accents, like individual paint job. It's not a paint, it's just like a decal, but it comes from the factory like that. Lens no bike. Just right, kidding. So let's go check out Glenn's <laughs> brand new bike. That's it. <laughs> Big moment. I used to frequent frequent this place when I had when I was rebuilding uh, the oh, R60, the 1980 R60. That was my first project years ago. How you doing? Well, COVID made me sell it. I had no choice. Which one is it? Boom. I'm gonna say it's that one. <laughs> That it's one. that one with oh, the new windshield. Oh. <laughs> I seen some bugs. What, what's <laughs> yeah, going on I here? I can't share my windshield. Did oh, you see the size difference? Oh, gotcha. So there you have it. Oh, that's your old bike. This is, old. This is what he did. He took his. What that's year the was old that bike. One? 19. 2019 BMW K1600B bagger and got a 2023? 23. 2023 KT K1600B bagger. TFT. 
stereo system. Uh, the lighting, it's all LED now. Oh, okay. Blinkers and all. Headlight. Uh, it revs up 1,000 RPMs quicker oh, wow. than that engine. And uh, it's got some down lighting on it. And this comes with zero miles, and that comes zero with 16,000, right? How many uh, did you have? 16? <laughs> 13,000. 13,000. 13,000 zero miles. Yeah, wheels are nice. It's got almost the same design as the ones. What about your. Uh... Nah. Nah, you don't care about it. Congratulations. Center stand, too. Oh, you didn't have a center stand on that one? No. Oh, nice. Yes. Glenn, is there any significance to the M package that you had? No, there's that's or just not an M emblem. That's MM emblem. emblem on. That's cheating, yeah. cheating. <laughs> just an M. Right. <laughs> AliExpress <laughs> emblem. That's it. Well, congratulations. Man. Thank you. All right, it's safe. And... It's only going to work when the bike is powered on. But if you tap this little guy right here. Okay. Will that will raise the Did yours no. do that? No. It does do that, yes, but it it, there's no, this isn't under there. Gonna hit the road. Back rest. Back rest I'm getting a different one. Ride safe. I'll see you later. All right, thank you. This one is, uh... John, see you later. Later, brother. All right. I'll you want to come with me, Gil? I'll leave it in the... He's on, he's on it, he's on it. Smooth. Is he flow? Smooth? No. It, this is higher than my stock one. My stock is... Glenn, yeah. you look good on it, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that thing's awesome, man. Really nice. Feels good. Yeah, I'm going to hit the road. Uh, Mike, was this one for the Do you remember? Let's see this. Saddleman. Step up. Tuck and roll. Soft. Yeah, it's really comfortable. I guess I guess the design of the tuck and roll gives it some cushioning as opposed as opposed to this. Yeah, it's just, yeah really yeah, comfortable. Because that's flat. I'll take the outer fairing out. Take it off. To get access to all the wiring, right? Yep. Now this is not a plug and play on the ST, so we're gonna have to tap in to get to get uh, power from uh, pretty much the light, the headlight, or somewhere uh, near that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna see if there's a uh, maybe like an accessory yeah. power in there that we can tap off of one okay. that's one that comes on with the ignition. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna look for. I know on the touring bikes, there's plenty of them. Yeah. I just don't know if there's anything on the ST. Got you. And uh, that's the set the, the way I want it set up. So it's going to be connected to the running light, whatever the, I mean the headlight is on the bar. The light bar is going to be uh, lit. And the there's the reason the main reason why it's not set up and it's not plug and play is because there's no actual room uh, to where to mount it. So there by, underneath the triple tree, that's where the light bar is going to go. There's there's a hole, but it doesn't go all the way. We'll have to tap tap it, or uh, we'll see what we can do. That's what we're gonna uh, figure out as we're uh, removing the the fairing now. I actually, did that. That's, yeah. that's interesting. First <clears throat> here is I'm gonna test fit the bracket and we're gonna get it up underneath and see how it fits. How yeah, it, it fits, what it looks like, you know. Yeah. Don't you hit the hate those little nuts? Yeah. Those little bolts, huh? So we're yeah, gonna have to put a, we have to put a spacer. 
Um, we're gonna put a spacer and uh, just a longer bolt. My only concern <clears throat> it might rotate. is it might rotate. Um, we, me, I think we can Loctite it and... I think they sent me a block and I don't, maybe I left it at home. There's a, a initial hole over there that we very deep. Yeah, it's either drilling all the way through or tapping that. I probably won't go all the way through. So you're gonna tap, drill. drill and trap and tap that. Might just deepen this, make this hole a little bit deeper and then tap it. Gotcha. There we go, tapping the ties. Is it a snap on? It is. Obviously not. It is. There's not much here that isn't. Just trying to pick the right size. This looks pretty good. Let me make sure I've got these bolts in stock before I tap a hole for a yep. hole I don't have. Okay. So this is the drill bit uh, selector chart. Yep. So depending on which tap you're using, mm -hmm. you have to select the right size drill bit. You have to have so, this chart to, yeah, according Yeah, to and it comes with most tap and die sets, or you can look it up online. Right. So we're using um, a 3 8 16. So I gotta find 3 8 16 on here. 3 8 16. So it's a 21 64 drill bit. Get there? How are you gonna get there? Mm, I'm gonna have to take the fender off. Ooh. Fender coming off. Maybe. Maybe. Do you have a. I have a right angle drill bit. You do. Or, yeah. Yeah. He's got everything. This guy's got everything. Maybe. Just maybe. Nope. <laughs> Fender's gotta come off. Fender. That would give you much room either. Yeah, that should give me enough. Jeez. Powerful, huh? It's a new gun. Oh, it's not as well. I just got it, yeah. Here we go. My old one was, uh, my old one was dying. So I got this one last week. Yeah, only a $300 gun. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> His exhaust. Bueno. <laughs> freaking cast the characters here. <laughs> you back up, you go in, back oh. up again, go yep. in, back yeah. up again. Yeah, when you're Sometimes going. Sometimes you oil it down. Or you, you can go. feel, you can feel when it starts to get a little tight and a little shavings oh, get in there. Yeah. So right around, right around now. Back it up a little bit, clean them threads. Come through. Yep. Came through? Yeah. Just gonna run all the way through. This is a tapered tap, so mm -hmm. um, it comes out this way. So I usually I thread it all the way through until the taper is gone. So, so you get a, so a clean, yep. non-conical. We're gonna put some Loctite in there. Okay. If listen, if there's a, if there's an issue, we'll come back and do yeah, that. Yeah, sure, sure, of course. I think. Uh, Look at that. Look at that. 
So let's see if our 3 16 16 bolt goes in there. There you go. Yeah, like a glove. Bruh, perfect, perfect. Nice tight thread too. Yep. Yeah, let's try it out without the bolt, without the, the flange over there, just to see the positioning. Because we want to drop it, but we don't want to drop it too much. So uh, we have uh, clearance for the front wheel, front uh, tire. I feel we might put a, a little spacer over here to drop the light down a bit so it's uh, visible. Because like I said, this is mainly for looks, slightly for you know lighting it's not going to really make big difference but it's for the look so it needs to be seen so as i know the uh the, the lowrider s has uh proper i don't actually i don't know the i know the st does not have the place uh to bolt it that's why we had to tap to drill and tap it you know all the other soft tail models have uh so the low rider S yeah. has this plate Got you. and it bolts into the outside ones. We tap the center. Right. Oh, so this is a similar light. Gotcha. So this is uh, pretty much the same, almost the same size as the bolt. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to run this in here and open this slot up. Okay. So that we can get the bolt to fit. So we got that. We got that in place, and now it's uh, connecting these. This uh, bracket in. Uh, can I get the with it? Yeah. Can I, you want me to hold it somewhere somehow? Yeah, if you get it like that, that would be great. Okay. A pain in the ass. It's gonna be a pain. But we'll get it. Just be a little time consuming. Pick it up today, but I thought it would probably be done and ready to be by tomorrow. So we couldn't get it. Uh, very a tight space over there, so we're gonna assemble it over here on the bench, uh, and then uh, mount it. So now the other challenge is to get uh, my fingers in here and spin this into place, which looks like it should be easy. Not bad. There you go. And I'll have to do this with a wrench. Wrench would fit in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll get one in there. Yeah. I'm going to temporarily connect it to a battery I okay, have over yeah. here. And let's see it. And we'll see what it looks like. We'll drop it down. Yeah. Much better than before. Come on. I think he paid for the mirrors. What downpour? It's got to be a big storm. It's black. Paulie bailed on me too. Uh -huh. Yes. That's I'm nice. Take oh, that's nice. Wow, it's bright as well, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's drop the bike and see from uh, street level what it looks like. And decide if we want to put a spacer to drop it a little bit below, a little bit lower, or just keep it the way it is. You're not gonna get struck by lightning. Rubber tires. Oh yeah. Right. Rubber duck. <laughs> he said he's gonna get struck by lightning. Oh stop, really not. <laughs> Did it ever happen to you? No. There you go. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Good news is this was the hard part. Did you do it right here? I'll figure it out. Brent. Oh, okay, I thought you were. It's about all we're getting out of it. Yeah. Now to the electrical uh, aspect of it. They should. You have your keys on there, right? Yep. So we're going to put our test light in here. There we go. 
So I've got 12 volts. And I got nothing. So I'm going to tap into the red wire. And then the black wire will be our, our ground. I could probably do it right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim some of this insulation away. We're going to tie in our wires. I'm going to solder it. and. Okay, perfect. All right. Yep. What we'll do is we'll leave a little bit of loop in here in case we do something case. different after. I don't need all of this stuff. Right, right. Loop it up a little bit. Create like a little service loop in here. It's nasty outside here, the, the thunder. The way he was dressed one day, I don't it seems so easy when you do it and I'm sure it is easy but uh, I don't tapping into into a working system I never like to do I like the plug and plays you know yeah I mean listen this is a, a very low amperage thing it's all LED it's not gonna hurt anything yeah yeah nice Probably have to Amsterdam next month. My girlfriend's got to fly into Amsterdam on the 20th. That's cool. She's got to go to Maastricht for work. Heat up the wire. Is it hot? Heat the wire is hot. Oh, so the wire literally does this, the, the so melting? So you'll see, it kind of like, once it melts, oh, yeah. I should be able to start, if I got it hot enough, I should be able to almost paint the wire with the solder. Yeah, see. Gotcha. My hands are shaking today. There we go. Paint the wire with the solder. Nice connection. Ah, beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, nice. So you pretty much put this, the solder iron itself on the on the wire itself. Right, you gotta heat it up. Yeah, I, I heat it from the back, and then as soon as you start painting it with the solder, it sucks it through gotcha. everywhere. And you just did it the other way around, which is right. great. That's And that's how you don't, I mean, see, look, there's no bubbles, there's no yeah, my only it's you, fully you, penetrated. Usually concern is the, when I'm heating up the wire, how far does the heat go, like right. up, up the component? It will, uh, you just gotta do it right. Now. Do this again. So literally heating up the wires with the iron and then just melt the solder onto the wire. So I do go next to it right here. Yeah, just, so you just get, get a little started. initial. Yeah, see, started. now it's just melting down the wire. All right, right. Nice. Clean job. Perfect. Ah, my mind. Yep. Cloth test the tape on it. Now, if we were soldering two pieces of wire together and I separated the wire, then I would be able to slide on some heat shrink tube. Yeah, in advance, but, right. But uh, if you're not breaking the actual wire, then you can't do that. So now that we did it there, we can bring this back down. Uh -huh. Tight loop. Your headlight. Perfect. So we'll put your uh, fender. fender back on. Give me a thread wizard. <laughs> so our thread wizard cleans all the Loctite out of the threads. Mm -hmm. It says metal bristles inside. And then you put new Loctite on, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Before and after. Yep. Where'd you get this tool? I put it on Amazon. Amazon tool? Yeah, it's made by, uh, it's a Thread Wizard. They're about 20 bucks or 29 dollars. And what's cool is for, I think, 10 or 11 dollars, you can actually replace the bristles and the plate. You don't have to buy the whole tool again. Who's on the phone? Freaking handlebar set up. But he has, didn't he have it? On his, on his, oh. So now we're gonna do the 
Is it also a T-bar setup? Mm -hmm. uh, I just got that brand new long Bassani Two wow. into one. But I'm also. So what is he doing with his uh He's sold the sold. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Kind of tucked away, so you don't see it. And yeah, but when you when you fly, yeah, that's that's what's cool. When you're uh, like six feet away from it, in front of it, you see yep. it. Whatever it's not. Yeah. Job job is done, but this is the weather outside. And I need to decide should I ride home or just wait a little bit. I'm um, literally like three miles away from home. I don't mind, you know, the rain if I get. I don't have gear or anything, so only thing is lightning. Let me just. Uh, figure out so thank you uh this is poor custom cycles mike thank you so much oh no problem where, where, can, people, where can people find uh your, your shop uh shops located in hackensack hackensack the, yeah the address is 221 gracie place yeah in hackensack if you follow us on instagram torque underscore custom underscore cycles yeah you, uh, they can text you there as well yeah our, like informa DM. our information's in there they can right. dm me there or uh, our address is also listed there okay what well, your phone number how about that um 201 yeah 880 right 6440 mike ask for a mic you'll probably get one of the mics there are like a hundred of them over here yeah, I'm gonna check our Instagram right now. Now that okay. you mention it, sure. you do everything. You do all bikes Everything's over here. Right? Yep. So our Instagram mm -hmm. has our address, has our phone number. Okay. Yeah, we mostly specialize in in uh, American V Twin Harley Indian right. custom bikes, but we do take some other uh, some other work. Yeah, I've seen a lot of bikes here. Look look at the look at the showroom they have over here. That some of the bikes that Mike uh, Mike subscribed. Really cool, check them out. I'm gonna ride home anyway. If I get wet, I get wet. And I'll do a walk around when I get home. I'll show you what it looks like. Thank you so much, guys, over here. So I got home last night. And the rain was crazy. I was never so wet in my life. And now it's the next morning. Let's go. nice about it that when you look at it from like from here three feet away you can't really see it it's it's stealth but when you move back a little bit the light is there the presence is there and it's really cool so that's it guys easy install if you have the proper tools and patience not complicated thank you to custom dynamics for providing this uh, light bar i really appreciate it. it came out really really nice i'll have a link down by the description it's not an expensive piece i'm not sure how much but it's very relatively cheap uh and i think it's killer look it really really adds a subliminal uh, message to look I'm here. You don't see me when. Uh, ah, what, what am I talking about? I love the look. Bottom line. That's it, guys. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.